There was once a kindergarten class with children busily drawing. Noticing one little girl working very intently, her teacher asked her what she was working on. Confidently, the girl said she was drawing a picture of God. Surprised by this, the teacher responded knowingly that no one really knows what God looks like. Without missing a beat, the girl paused, looked up and said, well, they will in a minute. Friends, even if a picture does paint a thousand words, we can, of course, never fully know anyone, let alone God, from a picture. We may have photos of family and friends, but we only really get to know them, not by looking at their picture, but by communicating with them, by entering into relationship with them, by making the effort to express our thoughts and feelings, our hopes and desires. If this is true of other human beings, it must be no less true of God. This feast of the Holy Trinity reminds us that God as Trinity is not a problem to be solved or a theory to be analysed, but someone to enter into relationship with. The very nature of God as three persons in continuous relationship is the most powerful message we have that God can only be known when we are willing to relate to God in openness and love. God as Holy Trinity is relationship, the most loving and intimate relationship possible, a relationship that wants to include all of us and all of creation in its embrace of love. But there is more. In the book of Genesis, we're told that human beings are made in God's image and likeness. And so is it any surprise that we are made to be in relationship and that when we're deprived of wholesome relationships, we cannot flourish as persons? Today, as it's probably always been, the greatest crises we face concern the quality of our relationships, from the personal to the societal and to the global, indeed, our relationship with the very earth that sustains us. Brothers and sisters, may this feast of the Holy Trinity, the feast of God's relational life, cause us to pause and reflect on the quality of our most important relationships. If we had to draw a picture of God, like that little girl in kindergarten, what would we draw? But more to the point, what would we draw if we had to draw a picture of how we relate to those people whom God has given us?